Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the master of mayhem, Craig Charles. Oh, yes, we are back with what is still, I repeat, still the toughest robotic competition on the planet. This is Robot Wars, the sixth war! Now, last year, we crowned a new UK champion, the almighty Razor, who crushed Chaos 2's reign of terror. But Razor now faces a new breed of robotic competitors. They're faster, they're more ferocious. So are you ready for the most fearsome fighting machines ever forged? <laughs> Listen, eh? But before we do battle, they're back to put the fear of any roboteer. It's the awesome, the almighty, it's the house robots! Craig, we all know Jet Metal, Bash, a Killer Lot, Matilda and Shunt, and now our house robots are joined by two new machines, more fiercer than anything we've ever seen before. Of course, Matilda's back with the hydraulic tusks and fearsome flywheel. Jet Metal returns with a serrated saw and clutching claws to slice and dice. Sergeant Bash with the jutting jaw and fearsome flamethrower. Shunt will bully and bulldoze and leave even the best facing the axe from the sixth wars. And Sir Killalot can crush with mighty menace, twist, twirl and torment even the Rethpot's watchful eye. They are the kings of carnage. And for years, no robot has proved mighty enough or mean enough to join their ranks until now. Because we found a robot who is quite simply colossal, with evil running through his metal veins. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, with his bulldog growler, meet the deadly Mr. Psycho! Mr. Psycho weighs over 600 kilos, a staggering 12 batteries power, 36 volt Lynch motors. Growler's drive works on a skid steer system very fast. Mr. Psycho's huge hydraulic grab can crush at a force of three tons. The 30 kilo club travels at over 60 miles an hour. And his watchdog growler's jaws can also crush with a pressure of four tons. One man and his dog, Robot War's most powerful, punishing pair ever. And those boys aren't the only new surprise. Because this war sees the return of the first round melees. That's four robots in the war zone fighting together. Bring on the destruction! That's right, Craig. We have two round one four-way melees to start the carnage of this first seat. Tough way for Razor to open that title defence because only two robots from each melee will go into tonight's second round. What a great way to start the wars. The return of Razor, a robot so famous that Hello! magazine wanted to take a picture of it relaxing in the tool shed. But for all the other robots dreading being pitted against the reigning champion in round one, it's time to put them out of their misery. From Bradford, Brutus Maximus. Oh, look at the blade! But is that a wooden frame I see? Philippa's in the pits to find more. Joe, woodwork is not going to help you, really, on Robot Wars. Um, if I show you, you can see that the whole of this robot is made of wood. Mm, I like the rear triple disruptor rotating disc weapons, the four-wheel drive, the front ramp, but made of wood, petrol-driven, and running on bicycle wheels. They could be on their bikes, and soon. From Huddle's coat in Leicester, raging reality. We've seen the helmet logo on this team before. Experience, they'll need it. You're about to go in with Razor, amongst others, of course. How do you feel about that? Uh, we're not too bothered because we've got one small advantage over him. What's your small he's advantage? Is it your little, pneumatics? He's our little fourth no. member of our team, Little Norman. It's Little Norman, your advantage. Mm. Norm's machine has wheels top and bottom, so it runs inverted, a full pressurised flipper and ramming spikes, but the lightweight armour means raging reality could be a flight of fancy. From West Hampstead in London, Wasp. 
WASB. The name stands for What a Silly Project. What a team. Yes. Your thing is, I have noticed about your robot that you haven't really got much sting, have you? No, it's quite a small sting. <laughs> Let's just have a little look. There's a little spike here on the front, isn't there? Does it at least go out? No. <laughs> no. You're confident against Razor, are you? A little bit. Only a little bit invertible with rubber suspension and a strong chassis. Looks aggressive, but has light armour and is likely to be swatted, let's be honest. From Bournemouth in Dorset, the number one seed, Razor. Listen to the reaction. They're back, the UK champion. Yeah, up against <laughs> Wasp. Oh, yeah. Yes. You're also up against, who can I see there, Raging Reality and Brutus Maximus. Uh -huh. How do you feel about Wood? We're um, terribly scared. <laughs> You're not Weird. at all. Gleaming and preening, nimble and quick, aluminium and steel, a vicious hydraulic piercing, crushing beak, jaw, will self right in a unique way, but slowly. Is that a weakness? Robotiers, stand by. In the control pods, together, Wasp there on the left, team captain Rob Williams and Brutus Maximus, led by Joel Justino on the right. And the bearded Ian Lewis, captain of the champions, Razor on the left, raging reality, captained by Nigel Padgett on the right. There's a killer lot of the house robots in the arena with the Crusher and Sergeant Bash and the Flamethrower. Three, two, one, two, eight. What a dramatic way to start heat one of the sick wars with the reigning champions. Razor there at the bottom of your picture, turning to have a go at Brutus Maximus, but chased into the corner by raging reality, getting away, spinning once again into the safety of the arena centre. There, the big, ponderous machine, Brutus Maximus, and taking on Razor once again, and Razor trying to get in there on one of the tyres, and what was that being flipped? Wasp went into the air, but look at Razor crushing in here on the tyres of Brutus Maximus, which surely has not long left to survive seem to be deflated there's the team captain of Brutus Maximus trying to get more out of his boys Joe Justina, Wasp is on its size now Razor trying to take on Raging Reality back comes Brutus Maximus, only two survived this first melee Wasp seems to be out of it Razor pushing against Raging Reality which is now caught between a rock and a hard place, in other words between Razor and Sergeant Bash but he's still trying to gain momentum Brutus Maximus, we saw there, is still alive. Just trundling to the top of the picture, but Razor has control and a clutch on Raging Reality. And once again, going for the vulnerable spot. The tyres with the crushing pick. Just saw there the back of Vinnie Blunt. Balding head there in the control pod. Sergeant Bash looks on, so does the ref pod. Brutus Maximus, a little bit lopsided, but still trundling. Razor's had a go at all of them, it seems to me. Where's Wasp in all this? Overturn, over and out, over to you, Sir Killalot, I would have thought for the Wasp boys. We know there's no sting in there. And we know the end of the tail is nigh for Wasp. Buzz off and out of here. And fly, fly away to fight another day. It looks gruesome. Now there's Raging Reality and a little flip from them on Brutus Maximus. Razor had a look. Brutus Maximus, can they overturn? Wasp, we know he's finished. Oh, look at the shredding, though. Of that drill. And there's the pit release button. Down goes the pit. That's been activated out there on the arena. And they want someone to go down in the pit. You see the sparks from the arena side walls there? Another one of our weapons. And now you can see Razor in on those bicycle wheels we were telling you about. All along, that was going to be a weak link for Brutus Maximus. So Killalot also has a little bit of a feel and a grope. Very unpleasant to think about. So is that washing machine suspended above the arena. It's the ultimate of the arena weapons, the drop zone. More on that later in a wheel. Goes into the pit of oblivion. Off Brutus Maximus. Three wheels left on their wagon. And they know where their journey's going to end. We're on the flame pit right now. So burnt bicycle wheels. Come into the arena with wooden bicycle wheels and petrol driven. What were they thinking about? And the ref bot is thinking about the count of Brutus Maximus from Bradford are heading out. Smiles on their faces, ten on the clock. They're out, says the crowd. Gone from the sixth Robot Wars battles in this first heat. The mayhem, though, goes on. Razor on Wasp. 
down comes that great crushing mix. See the holes there? Drilled in razor. That is to cut down on the amount of weight they have in the arena. Up comes Bruno's Maximus and they're long gone. Raging Reality tossed them out of the arena. I like Raging Reality, Slippy, you know. Seats is caught. Wasp counted out. Rob Williams over Kelly and Chris Ford. You've gone. And we know now the team's through. Raging Reality and the reigning champions, Razor. What a way to start the new war. Razor, the reigning UK champion, the reigning world champion, up to his old tricks. Raging Reality flips out Brutus Maximus. Raging Reality and Razor, they go through.